All right, this is Rita. I am the moderator and owner of the GT Express 101 Yahoo group, or also known as the Express 101 Yahoo group. Kathy Mitchell asked me to start this group uh, many years ago. We have quite a few members. As you can see, uh, Yahoo has changed the format of what our site looks like. Um, I'm not so thrilled with it, and I don't think very many of you are either, but it is how they do it, and we must get used to it. The biggest complaint I am hearing now is that we can't see the files anymore, and since this is a recipe group mainly, recipes and other things, um, the files are pretty important. So in order to see the files now that you seemingly can't see at the moment, Go to the Yahoo group, make sure you are signed in, and you're going to click right here where it says more, and you're going to click on files, and the files will open up down here. We're just going to scroll down a little bit. What we want to look at are the recipes, so we're going to click on recipes, and I'm just going to pick this top one here, beef recipes, click on that one, and uh, now what you're going to need to do as you can see that we have the uh, files with the .html. We also have the file names without the .html, and those are text files by default. In order to see them, uh, I hear a lot of you are clicking on them and nothing's happening. What you want to do is pick one. It doesn't really matter which one if you pick the .html or one without the .html afterwards. It'll still do the same thing. The .htmls are going to look prettier. I'll show you in, in just a second. So you're going to click on it one time, and this is in Firefox. It's asking me, what do I want to do with this? What do I want to open this up in? I've already done this once, so it's t it's asking me what I want to open it in. Now what, you, what chances are, yours is going to say pick an app, but this is what it'll be when you first try to do this. So open with pick an app. So we're going to click here, and Firefox won't be highlighted yet because uh, if this is the first time you've done it, you want to go down here to other just ignore where that it said Firefox and you might even it, you can scroll down through here and if your browsers in here great if it's not it probably won't be do browse go to your program files um, I'm using internet I mean I'm using Firefox so I'm gonna scroll down here to Mozilla Firefox we're gonna open that and then we're gonna click on Firefox click open now, what this is going to do is this is going to open up this HTML file in Firefox. I can tell it to do this automatically from now on. That doesn't always work, but it doesn't matter. So we're going to click OK. Give that a second. Now, here's the file. And if you want to save this, lots of ways you can do it. You can highlight all of it, right click, copy. Create a text file and paste this into your text file and save it onto your computer. Uh, you'll want to do that. Let's see, uh, get this out of the way. Right click, new text document, double click on it to open it. Right click and paste. There we go. And we want to save. So we'll do save. You'll obviously want to go in and change the name of the file to the to the name of the uh, recipe. So that's how you do the uh, .html ones. And as you can see, it's got a nice little pretty pretty background, and all the uh, text is formatted to where it looks nice. Now we're going to go over here, and we're going to do one that does not have a .html afterwards. So we're going to click on that one. Again, it's going to ask me what I want to open it in, and what you're going to see is as uh, something else. You can open it in Notepad. Let's do that real quick. Let's open it in Notepad, and I'll show you what it looks like. And there it is. Now it's in Notepad. Now you'll notice that everything's just kind of all jammed up together. Nothing's formatted real pretty. That's why I like the .html. And on this, you can save it, file and do save as and you'll want to save it somewhere on your computer. I'm not going to save it because I don't want to save it. We're just going to close it. Now we're going to go in and do the same thing on the one that is not .html. Click on rollups and I'm going to 
tell it that I want to open this up in Firefox in my browser. Well, you can see it's not here, so I have to go look for it. We're going to browse. We're going to scroll down here to Mozilla Firefox and click on Firefox.exe and open. Now, I don't want to tell it to do this every time. I just want it to do it this time. Now we're going to click on OK and it will open it up in a new page. Now if you'll notice here we've got some formatting. Uh, all the stuff isn't all jammed together. Again, if you want to save this, highlight all of it, right click, copy, move that down, create a new text file, text document, open it, and then do right click and paste. Now everything's all kind of formatted, so you've got all your ingredients up here and the directions down here. And you save it, file, save, or save as. And obviously you want to put the name of the file so that you'll know what it is. It just doesn't, you don't want it to just say new text document. So that is how you're going to look at these now. Uh, Yes, I fully agree. I do not like it. I wish they would open up the way they used to. Um, but I assume Yahoo Groups has a reason for doing this. I think it has to do with security. It is annoying. I am sorry. I wish, uh, I wish there was a way I could push a button and go back. But I can't do that. Uh, here's, here's another one. Let's see. We're going to go down here and look at a... This is an image, a .bmp. Let's click on that. Open with. Let's o it's wanting to open up with the Windows Photo Viewer. And that's fine. I'll leave it on that. And there it is. And it is, needs to be rotated so that we can see it. And this is one of the files that was uploaded with permission from Kathy Mitchell obviously because it says so um, so there you go just do the uh, just do go to the files click on the, the whichever one you want to do a lot of these are going to be the HTML just because I put them in that way and it looks prettier that way. Open with Firefox. If you're using Internet Explorer, you'll want to open it in Internet Explorer. And there it is. All pretty and formatted. You can also save this page by doing File, Save Page As. And we can save it as a web page, and then it'll be on your computer at all times instead of being on the internet. And you can look at it that way, and it will always be there. There's not ever going to be an image with these, not the ones I've done, which means any of them that are on the uh, Yahoo group, the uh, our particular Yahoo group. So you don't uh, necessarily have to do the whole thing. You can do it as a text file however you want to do it. But there you go. That's how you look at it. Again, I'm sorry that this is how they've done it. It was a surprise to me as much as it was to you. But I appreciate each and every one of you. There are right now 1,603 members on the Express group. We've been around a long time and uh, Kathy's been a real hero for us going in and creating all these fun gadgets for us to use and I've had a really good time working with Kathy over all these years and uh, I miss a lot of the interaction because we're, we're not quite as busy as we used to be but every once in a while somebody pops up with something and it gets, sparks a little interest and uh, we keep going so the, like I said the last thing uh, is that nobody can find the recipe so I hope this video helps and uh, Thank you very much. If you guys have any other questions, just uh, give me a holler. Uh, email me, retha at gmail.com, or email me through the group. Post a message on the group, and I'll do my best. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.